It may seem like a simple task, but there's some serious science involved. Corporal Andrew Garthway is the first person in the UK to be fitted with a prosthetic arm that is controlled by his mind. The injured soldier told me, as sci-fi as it sounds, his friends now call him the Bionic Man. How's it changed your life? It's just making my life a lot, a lot more easier now because I used to struggle quite a lot around the household doing different household chores and um, it's even nice just to have the cosmetic look. So when I walk down the street it just looks like I've got a hand, it doesn't really look obvious that I'm just a one-armed man from where I live, you know. At 26 he told us it's slightly strange learning how to do everyday things again. But Corporal Garthwaite has come back from what he describes as a hellish time. Three years ago while serving in Afghanistan a rocket propelled grenade fired by the Taliban blew off his right arm and killed one of his comrades. Life does move on. I mean it's all upsetting that it has happened and we do have a bit of a cry now and then but that's just life. Luckily I'm sat here today because I could have quite easily died. Do you ever feel emotional thinking about that and thinking about being here? Oh, definitely. I mean, because obviously my comrade died and when I was out there and I just think how lucky I am to be here and I'm going to make the most of life that I can because obviously I've got a second chance in it. So how does the thought-activated hand work? Well, surgeons took the nerve endings from his shoulder that would have run down to his hand and rewired them into his chest muscles. If, as the, the feeling goes throughout my body, it's just... I can feel my hands sort of growing on my chest now, so it's like my thumbs over on my left hand side and my little fingers actually in where my armpit used to be. So, And my collarbone, if someone strokes my collarbone, it feels like somebody's actually feeling my forearm. So, I mean, it's such a weird feeling that I'm feeling at the minute. Andrew will leave the army at the end of the month and has dreams of now becoming a TV presenter. His new high-tech hand means he can do this. I have to go out on the drink and stuff like that. I can get a bit stupid doing my do me little party trick where I just keep rotating the wrist round and round. So. Ah. That is very cool. <laughs> Medics say it's his sense of humour and his soldier spirit which keeps shining through. Minnie Stevenson, 5 News.